Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 7 of Node TV. In this episode we're going to look at the industry 4.0 and what that means to you insurance brokers. Alright everyone, thank you for sticking around. I can't believe it's actually our, sec our seventh episode. Uh, it's the seventh episode and it's my dad's 67th birthday today. Dad, I know so much you watch this, so happy birthday. I hope you have a great night this evening. Um, so, I often talk about, or I've often mentioned on this channel, just how blessed I think we are to be in the sort of time that we're living, to, to witness the uh, revolution, or the digital revolution that we're we're witnessing and also what as uh, you hopefully as insurance brokers and as as in insurance underwriters and intermediaries are, are, are trying to um, keep up with and innovate with and adapt to and I think something that we uh, have been asked for quite a lot this week and to the back end of last week is how do we think that the the up-and-coming uh, industry revolution the 4.0 industry revolution is going to affect insurance and I just again think just how lucky we are that if we look at back, we're now in the fourth or on the on the cusp of the fourth industry revolution. The first being around steam power um, in the uh, 18th century, moving forward to the mass production of assembly lines that were powered by electricity in the 20th century, going on then to the third industry revolution, which was the computer and automation uh, industry that happened in the in the early 70s to go through to the the 80s and 90s, and now the the 4.0, the cyber physical um, systems, as experts are referring to it as, and I think that with that change that that, that we're going to witness over the next 20 years, I think insurance brokers, I, I really I, I really want people to really start looking at this. I think it's absolutely um, the right time to not only look at cyber liability your insurers have or your clients are facing so sort of that around sort of the the things that you hear us talk about day in and day out which is around the the data and the, the privacy and the business interruption what if something happens to their their infrastructure or their network the sort of general hacking side of things but also now looking at the internet of things the interconnectivity of um, devices and machines that are going to happen over the next 20 years. It's not something that is, is going to fade or go away. So I think if you're not you know, really looking at this, and we speak with insurance brokers all over the world every week, and we're constantly reminding them, we're doing everything we can to try and assist them um, to find comfort, understand the risks, and discuss it with their insurers. Because you know, frankly, the, there's a lot of money to be made, and, and we all like to do a deal. Um, but also there's a necessity that's, that it just isn't going to go back. So I really, really, really want insurance brokers all over the world to really start getting informed and finding comfort about discussing the type of risks that are going to come around through the next sort of 15 years from the, the, the Internet of Things, from the, the, the digital revolution, from the privacy standpoint, um, from the, the technology and manufacturing sectors that are, that are all just going to, going to change. And um, I was actually reading a study and I printed some some services off that, that are, I think are most going to be impacted by certainly around the industry 4.0 oh, um, so all service industries the business model is going to pe completely change um, how people the, the, the reliability on um, people's infrastructure the IT security the machine safety the product lifestyle the industry value chain workers education and uh, skills, uh, economic factors, it, it, it's all just going to be turned on its head and I think that, uh, that that I think it's important that everybody starts to really address and look into these, um, I say opportunities, they say risks, I think that certain products around the cyber and the tech e and space are going to have to absolutely change, I think the information that's going to be required to under, underwrite these types of risks is going to completely change. So. Um, we're really excited and I'm sure that uh, if you, you sort of look into this more and, and hopefully um, 
start having these sort of conversations with the insureds that the, the, as the, the, the 4.2 industry um, really starts to gain speed that you will um, benefit from being informed and, and understanding those risks and if, you, if we can be of any help with that, um, with, with that sort of theory of the education piece then please get in touch. Mm-hmm.